So just one day after Watch OS 11.1 RC was released, Apple is back with probably the biggest update a lot of people were waiting on, and that is for more Apple intelligence features, including ChatGTP, Genmoji, Image Playground, and Visual Search, and all of that. It is now live with iOS 18.2 Beta 1, and as you can see here, it is currently installing, and this should be one of the biggest updates for iOS 18 to date. Like I said, there's a lot of new features actually. There's gonna be a lot to unpack. In this video, we're gonna cover some of those that we just talked about. There's probably going to be a ton more we'll find in the upcoming week. We'll discuss the release schedule. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So as you can see here, 18.2 beta one just finished and right when you sign in and unlock the phone, we have a brand new animation for visual intelligence with camera control. And this is obviously gonna be unique to the iPhone 16 series. And it's showing you exactly how it will operate and how to trigger it as we're well aware. Once you continue on to that, now you have your new welcome to iPhone and you can swipe up to get started. Right off the bat, if you jump into settings, general and about, you can see here 18.2 has a first build number of 22C 5109P. And obviously that P signifies that this is nowhere ready for prime time. It is the first beta as you'd expect. And this is actually coming in at a whopping 7.42 gigabytes in download size. One of the big pieces that we've been waiting on in addition to this is obviously going to be found now under Apple Intelligence and Siri. And jumping into this, if you had already joined the waiting list and have downloaded the features in the past, it will continue to download newer updates here as we've seen during beta one. But also now, if you scroll farther down, you can see this new tab here that says extend Apple intelligence and Siri. And right there is chat GTP. So when you click on this, you see a new setup option right up top here, and it lets you know chat GTP can help you write text, create an image, answer questions and more. So let's go ahead and say set up. And you can see it says integrates with Siri, compose texts and writing tools, and it works with a chat GTP account. Let's go ahead and say next. We will enable chat GTP, and now you can sign in. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. And once that is completed, you can see you're signed in. We only have the free account currently, and you have a new option at the bottom here. It says confirm chat GTP requests. If ChatGTP can help with a request, Siri will ask permission before sending any information to ChatGTP. Siri will also always ask permission before sending a file to ChatGTP. And you can see we triggered that by accident. Let's go ahead and stop that quickly. And then the option to obviously download the app is here. Aside from that, now if we jump down into camera and camera controls, you can see a light press will give you a clear preview a launch camera with a single or double click, and all of this, that has not changed too much. Your photographic styles and all of this is currently the same as well. One of the other fun AI tools that Apple introduced here is Image Playground, as you can see from that new logo that they advertised a while ago. Once you launch it, you can see image creation, request early access to share feedback and help improve image creation features, image playground, Genmoji, and image wand, which allows you to transform a rough sketch into a related image in the notes app. You have to request early access, and once you do, you will be notified when it is ready to share your feedback. So that is currently going to be in a holding phase right now. We'll say done. Now, as you can see here, once you actually request access under Apple Intelligence and Siri, you have that new line item that says image creation. You'll be notified again when Image Playground, Genmoji, and Image Wand are available for your iPhone. If it's anything like how quick it happened when you first opted in, this should only take a few minutes, but that is to be seen. So now one of the big features with ChatGTP's integration here is actually using it with Siri. So when you activate Siri and have a request, so write me an essay about how great LeBron James is as a basketball player. You now see you have this option that says, I will now need to use ChatGTP. So let me cancel this and do it again so you see exactly how it works. Write me an essay about how great of a basketball player LeBron James is. 
go ahead and say use ChatGTP and it will start working. And here you go, right integrated with Siri, everything that you asked. And you can see at the bottom here, it does say chat GTP, mistakes can occur, verify details. But it wrote a whole essay here, and if you want, there is a copy button. You can simply hit copy and move on from there. Jumping into notes and going into an open note and going into Apple intelligence features, you can see at the bottom here, you now have a describe your change. Make it sound more professional. Let's do that. And it will rewrite based on exactly what you wanted. And you see it changed to this is satisfactory. So this is again, one of those new chat GTP integrated features with Apple intelligence that can make a big difference if you want a specific tone or style to the rewrite functionality. One of the other unlisted changes that we just saw is in mail. We finally have that new mail setup. When you launch, you can see your new inbox with primary, transactions, updates, and promotions. Also, you can see you have somewhat newer of icons on the left and your mail categories are actually able to be kind of customized. So you can tap the three dots menu to learn more if you want the category list or your view list, but you can see it does look a little different here. And you can obviously change or look into categories and show priority. So primary is obviously where a lot of your stuff is gonna be that is more important. You will also see instead of mail categories, if that's closed, any of the uh, more urgent items listed here as well. So while we wait to get accepted into the actual image playground for image creation and Genmoji and all that, let's talk about release date. And Apple did already confirm that this will be released by the end of the year. Since this is a P build, we know we have a number of betas still to come. And probably at the beginning of this cycle, we will be on a two week period of time in between betas. So we shouldn't assume another one on next Monday or Tuesday, but more likely on November 4th or 5th. That will be probably when we'll get beta two and hopefully we'll be accepted into the image playground by then. We will do a whole separate video for you guys in regards to all of that. So make sure to subscribe to the channel to get all of that information. But for now, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.